So if you have an old camera and your footage looks and sounds like this, then you have a big problem because no one wants to watch a video that looks or sounds like this. And if you're blaming it on your camera, let me tell you right now, it's not the camera, it's literally just you. You don't know how to use your equipment and you don't know how to set your camera settings properly. So in this video, I'm just going to be going through everything you need to do to make something that looks like this actually look kind of cinematic. So the first thing we need to change is the audio because listening to audio like this is just not fun at all. And you can kind of forgive bad video if the audio is pretty decent, but it doesn't go the other way around. And I know that from personal experience. So I'm going to fix the audio right now. So as you can hear right now, the audio sounds a lot better. And all I did was I just put like a $30 shotgun microphone on top of my camera. And I went into my camera settings and turned the audio levels down really far. Almost all the way. So even if you made a video like this with pretty good audio, you'd still have a lot more people watching than if you had bad audio but good video. So the next thing I'm going to do is just clean up some junk in the background to make it less distracting and just make it look more professional overall. So the next thing I'm going to do, it also is with the background, I'm going to turn on those two lights behind me just as practical lights to make the background more interesting. Okay, and as you can see from cleaning up the background and adding those lights, it already looks a lot better. But the colors do seem a little bit off, so I'm going to change the white balance to auto. You don't really have to know anything about white balance to set it properly. Setting it to auto works fine for me. Okay, so now as you can see, the white balance is set, the background's clean, and I added some practical lights in, and it's already looking a whole lot better than it did at the beginning. So now I'm just going to take my key light that I have actually right behind this camera, and I'm going to position it to the left of me and a little bit above me just to make it look cinematic. So what I basically just did was I moved the light to the side which caused this triangle right here on my face which is called Rembrandt lighting. It's a really popular lighting technique that a lot of people use in these talking head style YouTube videos. So the light I'm using is actually called the Mount Dog Softbox Lighting Kit. You can find it on Amazon for like 50 bucks. I'll put the link in the description. But it comes with a diffuser you can put over the light. So I'm going to do that right now because the light is really hard on my face. So now that already looks a lot better because the light's a lot softer but I'm just going to take the remote that came with the light and I'm going to make the light a little warmer just because because it kind of fits this setup. Okay, I'd say that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to add a light in the background. I'll be using the Loom Cube 2.0. I was looking online for it the other day and I actually think they stopped selling it, but it doesn't matter. You could use any light you want to light your background. So I just set that up. It didn't really do much, but you can notice it a little bit. Okay, now you've probably been annoyed with all the grain in this video so far. So I'm gonna be changing some camera settings that will add blur to the background and make it less grainy. So first of all, right now my aperture is set to f18, which means there's no light coming through the aperture and there's no blur in the background. So I'm going to turn that down and at the same time that's going to make it way brighter so I can turn the ISO down, which will make there be less green. So I just turned the ISO down to 100, which is the lowest it can go on my camera. And I turned the aperture down to 3.5, which is also the lowest it can go on the lens I'm using right now. But since the exposure changed from doing those things, I had to change the brightness on my key light right here. There's one more thing I need to do with camera settings before moving on, and that is turn the shutter speed down. Right now, the shutter speed is at 1 over 100. It should be at 1 over 60 because I'm shooting at 30 frames per second and your shutter should be twice your frame rate. That's just a general rule you should follow when it comes to filmmaking. So this is already coming along super well and it looks really good, but I realize I'm kind of fading into the background with this black hoodie, so I'm going to change it. So what I did there was I basically just added more contrast between me and the background because after all that does look really cinematic and that is why you want a blurry background anyway. So now I'm going to add a little bit of color grading. So what you saw there, that wasn't really color grading, that was just me going to CapCut and I added the freedom filter and put it on 50% power or whatever you want to call it. So that is everything and as you can see this looks like way better than it did at the beginning. Like I'm just going to put up on the screen before and after right now, like the difference is insane and all I did was I moved my key light, added a diffuser, changed some camera settings, cleaned up the background. All those things I just mentioned were free. I just need to put in a little bit more effort and know what I was doing. The one thing on this list that technically did cost extra money that I didn't start with was the microphone on top of my camera, which is $30, and the Loom Cube 2.0 light, which is the background light right now. But that wasn't even really necessary, and I think they discontinued it anyway. Okay, so the battery of my background light actually died while I was filming, and I didn't notice until later, so yeah. 
so I can at least put the link to my key light and the microphone I'm using in the description. So how about you go set up for a video and apply all these things you just learned and you're gonna be surprised the difference you can make in just like five to 10 minutes of changing things up. And yes, getting a better camera will make it look better, but you can do a lot with just a cheap 13 year old camera like I'm using right now. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'm out.